Hey everybody, Gabe here from WinNT Forums. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows NT 3.1 in VMware Workstation. So what you're going to need is a copy of Windows NT 3.1 and a copy of the Collection Books MS-DOS 5 boot disk. First thing you're going to need to do is create the virtual machine. There's a couple of extra things we're going to need to do at the end, and I'll guide you through those. So select Typical or Custom, depending on who you are and what you know about VMware, and click Next. And then select I will install the operating system later, because if we select the other two options then we will not be able to install Windows NT. Click Next again, select Microsoft Windows, and select Windows NT for the operating system. And then click Next again. Now we need to name our VM. I'm just going to name it Windows NT 3.1, but you can name it anything, like SpongeBob or Patrick or something. So click Next, and set your hard drive size. You can keep it as the default, or you can set it to whatever. It doesn't really matter. Despite what VMware says, I'm going to save it as a single file because I think it's easier to transfer to other computers that way, without corruption. Then click Next, and click Finish. Now it'll create the hard disk, and it will create the virtual machine. Alright, once it's created the virtual machine, you're going to want to click Edit Virtual Machine Settings, and you're going to want to change the hard drive type to IDE. To do that, you have to remove the hard drive and re-add it as IDE. So select hard disk for the hardware type, select IDE, select use an existing virtual disk, and click browse. It should come up into the directory where your hard drive is stored. So select that, and click finish. And then we need to add the floppy drive. So to do that, we'll go back to the add button, click on floppy drive, select next, choose use a floppy image, click next, click on browse, then navigate to the directory where your NT 3.1 workstation floppy images are saved, and select disk one. And then click finish. Now we are going to install Windows NT. So we're going to need to click on power on and it should boot right to the installation. And there it is. So press enter twice. Uh, press C if you get this message. And then um, press enter. And select what you would like to format it as. So you can format it as NTFS or FAT. I'm just going to choose NTFS because that's the current uh, hard disk system for Windows. So that's what we have. Then press F to format. And now it's going to format the hard drive. Alright, it's finished formatting now. Just want to mention one thing about that. Um, if, if you can't get it to format or if it gets stuck, then just pr press Control alt insert to restart and then try to format it again. So, anyways, now we're going to continue setup. Um, I'm just going to install it to the default folder because that's just easy. I assume you can install it to anything, pretty much. And now it's going to start asking you for the nine disks that are required in the tech setup. So go to removable device, VM, removable devices, floppy, and settings. Browse, and disk two. And so on and so forth until you get those nine disks over with. I will be right back. All right, we're now at the ninth disk and it should be just about finished. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to reboot and we're going to need to attach the collection book MS-DOS boot disk. So what I would do is shut it down first. 
So to do that, click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, select Floppy, click Browse, and find the directory where you have the boot disk saved, and then click OK. Okay, we're back. Now we need to edit two files with edit.com. These two files are initial.inf and setup.inf. So to do this, press Alt F, open, and navigate to your System32 folder. And then find initial.inf. Okay, and head to the processor var section. And erase this. And put in dollar sign, processor, ID, underscore, uppercase I, 5A6. That is very important. Because if you miss that, then you might screw the whole thing up. So save that, and use these. do the same thing to get to setup.inf. So M-N-O-P-R-S, setup.inf. And or the same section, processor var. Erase everything and enter dollar sign processor ID underscore uppercase I 5A6 close the parentheses and save it and exit then press control alt insert and press escape to boot to the hard drive Okay, now we're into the last portion of the setup, which is the GUI portion. So, I'm going to enter my name and my company. And then click continue twice. Then type a computer name. So, I'm just going to say WinNT31-PC VM. And then click continue twice again choose your locale click continue click cancel to if you don't want to set up a printer and then click continue and it gives you this message click continue again and then for VMware you're going to want to select the AMD process or the AMD network card then click continue click continue again and now it's going to ask you for the rest of the floppy disks out of 22 so VM removal devices floppy settings browse head back to the directory and start with disk 9 and click OK. And then it's going to keep asking for disks until you hit 20. Alright, so now it just installed and scanned for network hardware changes. And you're going to get this error. That's okay. You don't need to join to a domain anyways. So once you get to here, just click OK, because there's no point in joining a domain unless you know how or want to. And then it'll take a second to set up all the programs. So take just a second. And then you need to type in administrator password. 
and then type a local account. So, mine's just gonna be Game Grips 1. And it's gonna continue setup. And then we need to pick our time zone, which is Eastern time for me. Then click OK. And then you're gonna wanna use the emergency repair disc. So to do that, go to VM, removable devices, floppy, settings, create, and then type in whatever you want basically for the name as long as you know what the emergency repair disc. So I'm just gonna use ERC, because that just works. And click OK. And click OK. Now it's formatting the disc, and it's gonna create the disc. Now we will restart the computer and boot into Windows. And you may have to... whoops. You may have to boot from the hard drive using the boot menu to avoid using the repair disk. That's okay. This may take just a second to start. converting the file system to NTFS right now, and it just rebooted, you might have to use the boot menu again to boot to the hard drive. Now you'll see the Windows NT startup screen. There shouldn't be any issues, but if there are, please leave a comment and we will help you fix them. There will be links in the video description leading to the downloads that I used in this video. There will also be the text that was used in the initial and setup.infs. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, Leave a comment, contact us if needed, and we'll see you in the next one.